In today's video, I'm going to show you how to test your store's checkout by using Shopify's bogus gateway. With this gateway, you can purchase your own items from your own store without spending a dime of real money. This will show you how the checkout process looks for your customer and ensure everything is working properly. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now, let's get into the video. All right, so to set up the bogus gateway, log into your Shopify dashboard and click on settings and then payments. Now, once you get here, if you have Shopify payments set up, you should see a manage link right here. If you don't see that, no worries. I'm going to show you what to do in that scenario in a minute. So after you click manage, scroll right down to the bottom and click enable test mode. Also, if you don't have a phone number entered in here, you will need to add that in. It is a required field to continue. Once that is done, click save. Now click on switch to third party provider. Click the button. And then we want to select the bogus gateway. If you don't see it, then you can use the search bar to find it. Now, in order to use this gateway, we need to deactivate Shopify payments. So to do that, scroll down to the bottom. Then they want you to select a reason why you are deactivating. So from the drop down, I selected other and I typed out that I was testing. Now, my button says reactivate because I previously had the bogus gateway installed, but for yours, it will likely say activate. Either way, go ahead and click the button to enable and then you are done. Now, if you were in the scenario where you didn't see the manage link, what you need to do is click see all other providers. Select bogus gateway. And then click this button down here. Congratulations, your bogus gateway has been set up. Now let's test it out by purchasing something in our store. So here we are in our test store. Let's go ahead and purchase one of these items. All right, so here we are at the payment portion of the purchase. Where it says credit card number, you only write one number. Type number one if you want the test purchase to go through successfully. Type number two if you want the purchase to fail. Or type number three if you want it to say there was an error with the provider. I'm going to type a one so that we can test a successful transaction. For the name on the card, you can type up any made up name. I'm going to type Jane Doe. For the expiration date, any date in the future will work. And then for the security code, any three digit number works. So you can type 111, 123, 321, whatever three digit number you want. After that, you can click pay now. And here we go. This test order has been successfully completed. This is verified in your order section as well. If you go here, you can see our test order is right at the top here. Now let's do one more and this time let's fail the transaction. All right, so here we are again, but this time in the credit card number spot, we are going to type the number two to simulate a failed transaction. Let's go ahead and pay. And here we see the notice that our transaction has failed. Once you are finished testing your checkout, make sure to disable the bogus gateway. To do that, click settings, payments, manage, and click deactivate bogus gateway. Click it again. And then the gateway has been deactivated. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment down below. And because we post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel, make sure to subscribe and turn notifications on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.